Back when I was younger, I met this girl, and after we first met, we both liked each other a lot. We used to talk on the phone watching Blind Date until 2 or 3 in the morning, and you could say that the chemistry was definitely there. But due to my wild lifestyle at the time, I made some choices and made it pretty obvious that I wasn't all that interested in this girl anymore. Ironically, this only made her more determined to fight for my attention. And over the span of a few years, something really weird happened. Even though I wasn't really interested in a relationship with this girl, she did everything she could to hang out with me or talk to me on the phone. Just by being around and talking to me over several months, the way I felt towards this girl eventually changed and we ended up in a relationship. This whole time, she was unknowingly using the exposure effect. The psychology behind this phenomenon says that we tend to like a stimulus the more we are exposed to it. Put simply, the more time this girl spent around me, the more I started to like her over time. Every day, big brands are using this psychological effect on you and you probably don't even realize it. Think about the commercials on TV. If you sit down to watch just one hour of TV, you're exposed to about 16 minutes of commercials, which is up to 64 commercials per hour. Imagine 15 of those commercials are for Snickers candy bars. If you watch TV for several hours per day, you might see a commercial for a candy bar 100 or more times per day. The next time you go to the candy aisle in the grocery store to find a candy bar, you're going to notice the Snickers bar. And due to the exposure effect, you'll automatically have better feelings towards the Snickers bar than the other choices. The exposure effect is just as powerful for people as it is for objects, and it can make you much more likable in most situations. Imagine you're working a job that you don't really like, but you need to acquire some power to give yourself some job security. One of the best ways to acquire power at your job is to build a relationship with people who are higher up in the organization. Forget about your manager. You need to get in with the district managers and if possible, work your way up to people who are even higher up in the company. Between mandatory meetings and other events, you should have plenty of opportunities to use the exposure effect to your advantage and get the higher ups to eventually like you. Then, if you ever have a problem with your manager, someone higher up in the company will have your back. If we look at some of the biggest brands in the world, what two brands immediately come to mind when you think of shoes? For me, the answer is Nike and Adidas because these two companies have been using the exposure effect on me throughout my entire life. Maybe you're wondering how this is linked to attraction. The answer is simple. We find the people that we see most often more likable than others because of familiarity. If given a choice between a handful of clothing brands, we will almost always choose the brand that we're most familiar with. And the same is true for people. The next time you're hanging out with a group of people and everyone breaks out in laughter, take notice of the first person you look at because that's who you feel closest to. The same is true for everyone else in the group. At times, it might not seem like it works out this way, but most people end up falling in love with the person they see most often. And this is the power of the exposure effect in action. However, keep in mind that it doesn't always have to end with an intimate relationship. For example, imagine you're looking for a multi-million dollar mentor to help you start a successful business in the same space that he's working in. With the help of the exposure effect, even if it's just through social media, you can become more attractive to this person so that the next time that he's looking for someone to mentor, who do you think he's going to pick? Every time you grab your keys and drive to the store, what do you see? There is a McDonald's or Starbucks on every corner. For those of you in Egypt and other foreign countries, I'm sure there is some mega company equivalent. You see the big golden arc several times per day. Why do you think they make their signs the size of a small building? They want exposure. So the next time you're thinking about grabbing some fast food, what company do you think is going to magically pop into your head? If you want to attract anyone, you must become a human McDonald's sign. Many years ago, there was this crazy study performed on chicken eggs. Over time, two different tones were played to several groups of eggs. When the eggs finally hatched, each tone was played to the groups of chicks, and it was discovered that the chicks consistently chose the tone that was played to them while they were still in the eggs. Now that you understand the exposure effect, what if I told you that there is another psychological trick that is just as powerful? Let me ask you a question. Think back to a time when you were at the movies with your friends. Maybe it was like a double date or maybe it was just you and a girl or guy you were dating at the time. The movie you saw was a scary movie. 
Why do you think most double dates involve scary movies? What happens during the movie that makes couples want to see a scary movie together? Social psychology has the answer, and it has to do with anxiety. Most people associate negative feelings with this word, but when it comes to attraction, scary events can be powerful tools that you can use to your advantage. In fact, a scary situation can intensify attraction between anyone. Why do you think survivors of traumatic events frequently go on to become best friends? The police officer who saved the girl from a burning car fire ends up becoming lifelong friends with her. This is really neat because people become more attracted to each other when they meet during scary situations. If you're going on a date with a girl, take her to a scary movie. If you don't like movies, set up some other scary situation. It could even be something as simple as doing something in front of other people. Most people feel some level of anxiety in front of a big group of people, and if you can meet someone in this setting, the attraction between you and the other person will intensify. To make this work, keep in mind that the scene doesn't always have to be scary, but it needs to be exciting. Today we have so many different ways to communicate with each other that you don't always have to meet face to face. Of course, it's best to meet in person, but in the beginning, social media can be just as effective. Think about your friends on social media. Who do you like the most out of the several hundred friends on your Facebook account? There is a good chance that you feel the closest to the people who you see in person every day and the people who engage with your activity most often on social media. You know who these people are. They're the ones that like every post. They're the troopers who comment on every status, even if they don't really care about it. In fact, if you look closely at your life, you'll find that everything you feel close to, whether it's people, shoes, or brands, are the people and things that you're exposed to most often on a daily basis. The next time you look up what movies are playing in a theater, there's a good chance you'll end up going to see the movie that you saw the trailer for hundreds of times. Since everyone else is always using the exposure effect on you, it's time you took the power back into your own hands and start using it to attract anyone. These psychological effects are great tools that you can immediately start using to build attraction, and they are just as effective in the business and corporate world as they are for relationships. I want to take a second to, once again, thank you guys for watching, because without you, there is no channel. We're closing in on 30,000 subscribers and it's all because you amazing people take the time to watch every video to the end, like, share, and leave comments. Also, the channel data shows that more ladies are watching the channel than ever before and I'm not really sure why this is, but I'll do my best to make some videos for you. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.